Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Let's take a quick look at the markets from the week and then we'll jump into my trades. So to start with, obviously a big bounce back in equities after selling off for a few weeks. S&P bounce, NASDAQ bounce the strongest, Russell bounced and the Dow of course bounced as well. Gold had a big sell off on Monday and then kind of chopped sideways the rest of the week. Same with silver. Uh, notes and bonds were slightly lower for the week. 10-year yield uh, up a little bit, settling in at 4.664. Oil up for the week. That big flush, that was overnight. That was on uh, That was on Friday of last week. Yeah, the overnight action then settled all the way back down. So pretty much all up for the week. Uh, natural gas up. That has to do with the roll. Uh, soybeans. A little bit up and down. Wheat has been on fire to the upside over the last week and a half, uh, up to 604. Uh, corn a little bit higher. Euro and the pound a little bit higher. A little bit of weakness in the U.S. dollar. And Bitcoin settling in at 64,530. Taking a look at the VIX. VIX settling in just above 15 after being above 21 just a short week or so ago. So big contraction in implied volatility with that bounce. So no sustained high implied volatility, at least at this point. Of course, we still have the uh, the war situation looming. If, if things start to re-escalate, that could push uh, volatility right back up. But for now, it's certainly the VIX. The volatility is acting like things are stable as they as they see it. All right, so for my trades, uh, positive week. Let's start with zero DTE. A uh, little bit, a little bit green on zero DTE plus thirty five thirty. If I break down the different uh, trades, starting with AM, just had one AM trade because I've been doing more of my re entries. That was a uh, my nine forty five ratio, just a small profit on that one. On my challenge portfolio, so the one DTEs, three trades, two winners, a little over $1,000 profit. On my challenge one-to-one re-entries, uh, these were red, down about 2600 on nine trades. My three twos on the challenge, also red, down about 4100 My power hour on the challenge portfolio, Red minus 3200. So the challenge portfolio turned red, turned out red this week. And on challenge Ricks, just one small winner, 910. Uh, my end of day Magic Mahomes, two of those. One was 1200. This one, the, the options haven't settled yet. That'll be plus 500. Uh, so positive on those two trades. No FOMC, but we do have FOMC next week. On my rut, one DTE hedges, those continue to do well. Four, uh, three out of four were winners for plus 2,800. JSPs, I don't think I had any of those. Yeah, none of those this week. NDX daily trade is was red for the week, minus 3,500 on those. And then my non-challenge portfolio power hours. Let me get all those checked. Uh, red down about 3000 on those. So not, not a great week for power hour, at least for mine. Uh, and then my PM ratio, my PM trades did really well. So 14 of those plus 5,400 on those trades, my price action trades. I think I was down a little bit. Yeah. Down 4,000 on those. My quad 40, this is one that I'm just kind of testing. Three of those trades, all of which are winners. You can see I'm just doing a couple lots on those, still testing. Uh, quiet midday, I don't think I had any, yeah. Uh, my re-entries outside of my challenge portfolio were positive, uh, a little over 9,700, which is interesting. They're very similar to my challenge portfolio, but these came out extremely green, whereas the challenge portfolio were red, just based on a little bit of timing difference. And then my RICs outside of my challenge portfolio had just one of those small winner. O2 call calendars just had one small winner, hundred bucks. One DTEs outside of my challenge portfolio, two out of three plus 1200. 
Uh, Dynamic Butterflies, My Time Flies, had one winner. Oh, there we go. One winner for 710. And then uh, Dynamic Calendars. Dynamic Calendars, there you go. A little up and down on these. Down Ended up uh, de- read by about 1,400. There was a 4.7 that got hit for 1,100 and a 6.7 that got hit for 1,600. The others were plus or minus less than 1,000. Uh, let's see. Option selling. Had a couple good option selling trades. Uh, uh, OS uh, Hedgehog came off for plus 1,800. And a MES strangle for 507. Actually, now that I am looking at that, I got to go back. I thought that was closer to 1200 profit. Anyway, I'll figure that out. But it was a, it was a nice winner regardless. I'm not sure. I've noticed in TraderSync, I've noticed it on the NASDAQ futures that it does sometimes the calculation is off depending on the expiration cycle for whatever reason. So I'll go back and check on that and get it fixed. If that's off. Um, next would be, and finally portfolio margin. So on PM trades, yeah, no closed trades, uh, book some profits, some partial profits on a Humpty and a golden shark, but these two are both still open. So I basically closed half of those and I will close the remaining here in the next couple weeks. So that's it, my friends. Everybody have a good rest of your Sunday. Uh, Look forward to a good trading week this week. Talk to you soon.